rolling out to do a little uh, early morning sailboat racing. Yeah. I think the organizers are worried a little bit about the breeze in the afternoon, and uh, so in an effort to get some races in there, going to get us out in the uh, offshore breeze that we know is hanging around here in Nice at uh, 0700 in the morning. You know, the breeze is a bit better this morning, so um, yeah, they're going to try and run some uh, slightly windier races and um, see how we go. Stand by. Well, Nice may be still asleep, but this French team are very much awake out here this morning. Red Bull Extreme. Oh, Heinz Peter Steinack is over the side. Well, he's been pulled along like a fish in the water at the moment. They're slowing the boat down. When he fell over, they were going fast. He could have hurt himself. Hans Peter tried to hike. He made like a back flip in the water, and the problem was that he was caught with the feet on the traveler sheet. So he came under the hull, and then the rudder hits him on the head. In the end, uh, it looked not very good. When he came back on the boat, uh, blood was everywhere, and uh, luckily nothing more happened. It's really extreme, these boats, and uh, a little mistake on the boat, and uh, big things happen. Group Evan de Rothschild took the overall event lead in this morning's racing. The Lingi were chasing them hard. But the shining lights of yesterday... Come on, Terry. They faded a little. Artemis racing outside the top three in each of this morning's three races. And then, as forecast, the wind shut down for lunch. This afternoon was slow motion racing, but Artemis Racing kept their nerve and defended their lead in the one race held in these conditions. They go into the final day third, chasing Alinghi in second. But the leaders are a team with huge support here in Nice. Can Group Evan de Rothschild defend that position and win in their home nation? Well, we'll find out tomorrow.